Hello everybody. <coughs> How's your excuse me? <coughs> Let's try this again. Hello everybody. How you doing? All right. There's a lot of questions about Quake Three Arena, Quake Two, Quake One. Uh, first off, I wanted to start off with one thing: that all these servers, even though you go in a game, you don't find them, or you don't even know they're out there. There is actually over three thousand, and I'm probably lowballing it. Servers for Quake One, Quake Two, and Quake Three alone. So right now, I'm going to concentrate on Quake Three Arena. Okay. This is what you got to do. For, for part of it. I don't even know if it's going to show up on the screen. Now, people have questions about multiplayer. You, the servers, you go right to the multiplayer, it goes with the servers. And you can hit space bar if there's too many servers, like five, sometimes it can be up to six, seven hundred. You hit the space bar and you stop it. Alright, that takes care of that. Now, somebody had questions about changing your character and your screen name. You go to player, you change your screen name here. Handicap, just leave it to none. Effects, effects to rail. One of the weapons that shoots lasers, if you will. To all these different colors. It's just something they allow you to do. Um, let's see. Network. Put it on this regardless of your speed. This is all custom. You can adjust things as you go. But I highly recommend that you go to full screen regardless of your video mode. Because you'll find out why if you don't. CD key. Very easy. All twos. I know. Just... Hold on the two key, straight across. Now, I believe there was another question that somebody had had. They wanted to know, oh yeah, how to change your character. You change your mind, you just go to the model screen. And I'm not going to do it because I don't want to change it. You click on it, and you claim it. I think I cover the main basics, and don't hit defaults because it'll bring everything back to zero, if you will. Did I miss anything? Ejecting brass. I like to keep this on because it's nice to see that where you shoot, or it actually leaves marks on the walls. Simple items, like small things, small little details show up, so I keep all this on. Sync every frame, force player models, I keep these off. Automatic downloading, you're going to want them because some servers have a custom map that the CD does not come with. It'll start downloading for you. Now, that's the basics of, excuse me, the basics of it. Now, there's a couple things you need to do. I'm going to include the links course in the video you want to get you can put this in Google OFX X excuse me Q3 version switch now what it allows you to do is play the games in the mods and go on the servers from versions 116 to 132 some mods are 116 some are 30 some are 129 and you could switch around with that a lot of seasoned players don't even know this exists uh, okay you also need a point release. So type in Google, I'll, I'll link everything, point release 132 Quake 3 Arena. That'll bring you up to 132 so you can play everything from 132 back. Now as a secondary thing, not a mandatory thing, but it is nice, I bought, I um, downloaded a uh, server browser for Quake 3 Arena. They have them for Quake 2. Yeah, I'm not sure about Quake 1 yet. And this here has more servers than the Arena has when you go into the multi menu as you can see already we're up to 448 now I, I trying to think what 132 has I think it has 400 and something so there's uh, definitely more in here anyways you, you learn how to configure it yourself because it'll ask you where the game is and you'll figure it all out yourself all right now you've seen the 116 window so I'm gonna switch it to 132 and show you the difference should I do this right okay 132 set and launch here we go. It's going to be a, a boring video, right? And here you go. 447. Okay, it's... But that browser at times sometimes is even higher than this. A lot. And there's different versions in there as well. Alright, that concludes that. I don't want to hear everything, so I'm just going to hit space bar, select my server, and go in. But I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, this is first part of the video, at least I intend it to be. I don't think it's going to be the whole video because I'm going to cover Quake 2 eventually. I'm not going to bother with Quake 1 because I have my reasons. Alright, I hope this definitely helps to get people ready to go into Quake 3. Now there's also other places that there are servers that are offline, if you will. What I meant by that is it doesn't communicate with the main server. So there's a perhaps a couple thousand at least that I've noticed that are not in the server browser or in the game. Alrighty, I'm going to hit stop here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below.